Hi, I'm Marion Landry, Technical Marketing Manager for Autodesk. This is the fifth tips and tricks on Populate. In this video, I want to show you how to snapshot a character out of the Populate tool and maybe use it for other applications. I'm using here an animated escalator, which is an example amongst other examples. So perhaps I would like to use the Populate character and animate them along my escalator. Now, if I move my idle area in preparation for the animation, you'll see that I have to re-simulate every time that the idle area gets moved around, which gives you the answer that it is impossible for me to animate the idle area. It is also impossible for me to grab a character from an idle area or a flow area and move it around, so detach it from that idle area. So here, if I try to grab a character, there's no way for me to move that character around or detach it from this area. Now let's be creative and find a way around that challenge. I'm going to start by creating a wider idle area with a better selection of animated characters. And I'm going to look closely at my animation and try to find the idle candidate to be the person going up the escalator. So perhaps the woman on the phone with the brown dress at the moments where she has her hands on her hips could be a good position for the escalator. So I'm going to focus on this woman here. First, I'm going to make sure that I'm using the iRes version of the skin to have more definition in the mesh. Then, by pressing X on my keyboard, I will have access to the floating menu where I can search for all action. I'm going to type in snapshot to have access to the snapshot menu and snapshot this particular selected character as a mesh. Now, by doing so, I will have the exact copy of this woman as a identical mesh, which I can then use outside of the idle area. Now, this opens the door to all sorts of activity. First, I can use this woman and animate her in the escalator. And because she's no longer attached to the idle area, I can move her around, I can animate her as part of the escalator. I can also start creating my own library of characters that I like to use in still images. If I like a particular position of a character, I can snapshot it, put it to my library and build slowly my library of favorite character. I can also start to export these still characters towards other applications. Now, obviously you can snapshot other things in your scene, but using snapshot with the populate character widens the way you can use these characters. You just have to be creative and I'm sure you'll be able to think about other ways to use these characters.